Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll peel and core three pounds of the Granny Smith apples. Once I peel and core my Granny Smith apples, I'll place them in my bowl with a little bit of lemon juice. I put all the apple peels and apple cores in a bowl. I'll put a little bit of sugar, some cinnamon, some water, and I'm going to make this into apple cinnamon flavored water. Now that I have my apple peels and cores in my bowl, I have it on my counter, I'll take about a half a cup of lemon juice and sprinkle it all over the apple peels and cores, then mix it around. You can use fresh lemon if you'd like. Now I'll take a tablespoon of cinnamon and sprinkle that on top of the apple core and peels. This smells really good. I also added a half a cup of white sugar. Then I'll place these peels in a pot with eight cups of water. I'll boil these peels and cores until they're soft. Once they're soft, then I'll drain the peels and cores and save the liquid put it in a pitcher and then put it in my fridge till it's cool. I took a strainer and drained all the apple peels and apple core. I put it in a bag. I placed this water in my pitcher. So now I'll stir it and it made a half a gallon of the apple cinnamon water. So now I'll place it in my fridge. So I place it in my fridge overnight. This is what I call my apple cinnamon water. I have my glass. And that's what it looks like. I can smell this already. Mmm. That's really, really good. So that's what I did with my apple peels and the apple core. Just cooked it down, then drained it. Put it in my fridge with the eight cups of water, a little bit of cinnamon, and a little bit of sugar. And here's my apple cinnamon water.